Hello and welcome back to another video. I am Angst Attack, but you can call me Katie. Now before we get into this, the fifth episode in the first Walking Dead game series, I have some news for you guys. So I've been having issues with Bandicam and that's no secret. You guys can see that I have some audio syncing issues in a few of my videos. I've decided to use the GeForce Experience recording program. I've heard it's pretty decent. I've had a couple of friends suggest it. So beginning April 19th, every video that I record will have this program unless for some reason this one gives me issues, god forbid, and I have to find another additional program. If you have any suggestions as to why Bandicam is acting out, please let me know. I do still have to use it for things like Cards Against Humanity because I cannot record those the same way. It's a little complicated. but. So far, so good. I've recorded plenty of Overwatch. Not that those are getting posted, they'll be used as background in Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday morning videos. And the last bit of news. So after we finish this series of The Walking Dead, I will do the 400 Days special episode. It's actually the next one after number 5 here. I'll be doing that on May 2nd. And that'll run however long. If it runs into two weeks, it runs into two weeks. Following that will be another little break. As you can tell, there's some time between the ending of this series and the beginning of that one. It's at least a week. So there will be another little week after the 400 days, and then we'll start right up into the second series. It should be pretty interesting. But we're still on episode 5, so let's do it. Previously, on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. But we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Oh. No. Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Clementine. I love that bass drop in there. I don't know if you guys can hear it quite as well as I do with my headset on, but it's pretty cool. Alright. Let's get into this. Zombies. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. <coughs> Clementine, are, are you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! No! Where have you taken her? This isn't Vernon. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you... I choose my next words very carefully. What do you want from me? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You can let her go. I want you to never hurt anybody again. Ooh. This isn't a kidnapping me. Then what is it? A rescue. What? Just hold on, Clementine. I'm coming for you. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. We fucking better.
How's that feeling? Fine. Don't worry about it. It wasn't a full jump. No, it wasn't. We don't have much time. Uh-oh. Oh god. We're about Close to have the a lot door. Of mess. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. Oh god. <clears throat> okay. Hey, I think I found a way out. <laughs> Without even trying. I can't get my hands in between the doors. I'm not gonna shoot my way through. Aww. That could have been fun. That's locked. Maybe there's a key in one of these um, cabinets or something. A rib spreader, so eh. Nothing? Really? I am. Looks like Vernon and his people cleared their shit out of here in a hurry. Where the hell did they go? I don't know. So rib spreader meets doors, doors open. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. One, two. I wouldn't count that as open. faint. That doesn't look so good, hold on. Oh, Jesus. So Home Biscuit here is dying. That's, that's pretty evident. Is he alive? Shit, I couldn't He's still bit. So? This is about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Chopping his arm off. No. Do we know it works? No. We don't know anything. We know there's gonna be a lot of blood. There's gonna be a shitload of blood. Yeah. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Hey, I'm laying right here. Sorry. It's not really our call anymore. Yeah, no shit. If we take off the arm, you don't die of blood loss. Well, maybe you won't die from the bite. Yeah. What do you think? No, oh God. Uh. No. We we'll leave it. Are you sure? Yeah. Uh, I, I feel like I got time. Do. Just keep an eye on me. I get my hands on the bastard who's got clear. Happy to have them both. But you're gonna die. No. Yeah, but not in here. You guys keep an eye on that door. I'll work on getting us out of here. Lee? No. This is what we're doing, and I don't want to hear anything else, okay? Ah, <sighs> damn you guys. 
just some surgical supplies. Okay, I was hoping for maybe something more. Oh, now the door's shut again? Shit. Well, it's open. Ooh. All right, up we go. We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. Sounds good. God. It's a long way. Pretty sure this thing was six stories in a basement. Nice and quiet, everybody. Oops. Oh no, I have There's to climb. Light up there. Good. Gotta get my ass off this ladder. Pass! That was unnecessary and cruel. Just fucking peachy. <laughs> Yo, zombies on the floor. Come on. No, no. Oh. Lee, Lee. Oh God, are you alive? Get up. Jesus fucking Christ. What in the hell? Lord. You have to pull yourself up. Jesus. Gotta get up. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Jesus. Good job. That was unnecessary. Fucking game. No, don't you fucking touch me. I'm special. God. <sighs> I love how it just kind of like falls over and it's no longer a word. They just kind of splattered the paint up there. <clears throat> Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. Hmm. There must be thousands of them. Yep. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Maybe we can wait for an opening. We could be waiting a long time. Still. Lee's right, and that we gotta pick our time and go. Anybody yep. know how far and in what direction the mansion is? We probably ought to start there. It's between us and River Street, so we can stop if we have to. Retrace our steps, maybe. And they get going towards a hotel where Clem's parents were staying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I... Uh... I don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. God damn it. Just lost my foot. That's all. You gotta let us know if you start feeling funny, you know? Yeah. I know. It's just dizziness, that's all. I'm all good. As good as you can be. Yeah. yeah. Good as I can be. Now what? We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Mm-hmm. Now, let's get our bearings. Hmm. Is there anything useful up here? What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Huh, yeah. That could help. 
Mm-hmm. Don't distract everything to us. That's not really what we want. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. Oh, cool. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. I might have a way to clear us a path. I can make it to that bell tower. I can draw the walkers down to that side of the hospital. There'll be thousands of them. That'll thin out the streets between here, the mansion, and River Street. Even if it's just for a few minutes. Oh man, don't tell me that I have to, like, use the ladder and cross on the ladder. God damn it, I do. Ah, why? Oh man. This just isn't safe. This is so reckless. The bells. Yeah. Could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? No. My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. No. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. No. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? No. Nah. So we're agreed then. God damn it. I hate you people. Hurry. Yeah, what she said. I hate everything about this. Everything about this. No. Oh shit. <laughs> no. Are you okay? I fucking yeah, hope so. I'm fine. Try to find another way out of there? Wouldn't be last. It's locked. Shit. Hmm. The exit in here's locked. I don't want to pull that yet. Guys. Oh, damn it. Oh man. How the fuck am I supposed to get back? Or out even. They're coming this way. Yeah. Tons of them. Jesus! Now get back here! You tell me how. I don't foresee this ending well. I think I have to jump! There's no way back! You can make it! It ain't that far! You shut your whore mouth. You got this. You got this, motherfucker. And that's going to be it for this episode. We'll see if I make it across next time. <laughs> oh, fuck. Like, comment, and share as you please. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.